Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here we have today is a long, long awaited model kit that we've just been anticipating is finally here. The RX 78 NT Tech 1 Alex. So man, this is a really awesome looking kit already. Um, I've already seen a lot of different reviews, a lot of people kind of handling it already, and Man, I'm just, I'm super excited to go ahead and start building this. Uh, originally, I was going to build the 30 Minutes Mission kits, but, you know, I was just really like, ah, let me get this done out of the way. So, first, I want to just look at that cover art. Man, that is some good looking cover art. Basically, the uh, scenario from the actual OVA. Looking really good. Uh, overall, no kind of issues whatsoever. So, let's go ahead and start taking a look at some things. But first, word from my sponsor. Can't find the perfect place to order your Gunpla? Waiting until starvation for your kit to finally arrive? Maybe even getting that package in the mail that you've been waiting so long for, but ultimately you become disappointed because you get a goddamn transformer. What the hell? Well now there's no more need to drink your sorrows away, friend. You can shop over at NewTypeHQ.com. Get all the Gumpa goodness you want and use that promo code CROSAMA so that way you can get 10% off. And here you're going to have some information about the cockpit as well as just demonstrating the actual gimmick with lifting up the like front armor piece that way you can expose the pilot within the cockpit. Really nice kneeling position. And if you want to use the arm gatling guns, all you need to do is just kind of swivel over that shield and lift up the front part of that shield and you're going to have an open area to actually fire your gatling gun. And then for the actual armored up version, all you need to do is just lift up the little armor piece on top of the arm. You do get an extra antenna that is broken to recreate a scene from the actual anime. For the legs, it's really just going to show a lot of the gimmicks. So whether or not you're going to have the armor on, you are still going to be able to get fantastic bends and articulation with these legs and that's something I really appreciate with this new kit and you're gonna get Alfred Bernard and Christina from the series um, honestly I can't remember these characters too much only because the series wasn't a big influence in my uh, my youth I haven't really watched in such a long time and the series never really stood out to me but I always loved the uh, Alex so you know this is just a kit I really wanted to get to kind of like more or less complete my lead series uh, you know, Gundams and here's going to be everything in the box, undetailed, unpainted. Uh, just going to have a couple of marking stickers, if I'm not mistaken, that's going to be around the kit. Uh, but yeah, it, it looks really good, even without like panel lining details or anything. So with just a little bit of extra work, this kit is going to really stand out on that shelf. I guarantee it. And it's talking about the four layer structure. So what this means is that you're obviously going to have the inner frame, then you're going to have the main MS, then you're going to have the inner frame of the armor, and then finally the armor on top of that. That. so there's definitely gonna be a lot of you know thickness to this kit and here's gonna be all the weapons that come with it so you're gonna have the shield bazooka beam rifle and two beam sabers and you get a nice front view then another front view of the actual armor on them and lastly you're just gonna get some more information about the kit so it's just talking about the frame the seals which are obviously gonna be stickers and lastly you're gonna have a little bit of information about the frame as well as the ceiling which uh, to my knowledge it should be pretty close to what the Thunderbolt was um, that kind of like layer on top of the joints uh, we'll definitely see what kind of texture it is I don't know if it's like something it, looks, it says vinyl so we'll definitely see what it's gonna be like and then uh, the bonus parts which is gonna be that face mask that was actually I think first introduced to, in the SD form so we didn't really see that in the master grade the high grade or any other grades before that so i think just that sd had that face mask and here is a rear shot of the kit and if you look down here it did come out in 2019 and first we're going to have is runner a so runner a is going to have some nice bright and vibrant red and you're going to have like the little shield bits and then face and leg armor so basically all this white some really nice uh, looking armor as well as the figures uh right over here you're going to have some clear green and then some nice uh i'll kind of call it more of a bluish gray uh but gray nonetheless and next is going to be B1 and B2. So with B1 and B2, it's just going to be all blue, mainly going to be for like the feet. I'm um, seeing some parts for the legs right here. You got the shield bit right here. This looks like it's going to be for the backpack and you got the chest. So 
Really nice blue. I, I do like the color, so uh, you know, no problems with this. And next we're gonna have is Runner C. So with Runner C, it's more armor bits. You're gonna have parts for like the backpack. You got some stuff for the bazooka. Uh, you got the front scourge. You got parts for like the legs. But one thing I'm noticing, I'm gonna try and uh, have it very clear for y'all, is that there's pretty much no surface detail. Um, so this is like a good or bad thing. It really depends on your kind of like interest in that. Uh, I kind of am on the fence. This is a good opportunity to do some panel scribing. Me, I'm not going to do any panel scribing, by, at least for my first time on this kit. So maybe in the future this could be something that would be a project. But for the most part, um, yeah, it's, it's probably going to be good for some of those more experienced uh, players that you know, are really just going to have a good time scribing in some nice little details. And next you're going to get is two Runner Ds. So with Runner D, it's just going to be way more white. Uh, it's going to be a lot of white parts on this kit. So just armor bits all over the place. You got parts for the legs. You got this, uh, the ankle skirt right here. Uh, pretty much, I think that's shoulder bits, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, shoulder. And yeah, just little, man, little tiny parts over here. So this is probably going to be for... Uh, maybe for the shoulder, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I have to see, I can't really recall, but you know what, it looks really good nonetheless with all that nice little armor. And next is going to be Runner E. Runner E is going to be the inner frame. So overall, it's going to have uh, some pretty nice looking details in it. Uh, the gray is really nice more or less what you get with most uh, massive grays to be honest uh but yeah it has a, like a little gloss finish to it so probably something you're really going to want to dull down but regardless it is a, a pretty decent looking inner frame and next we're going to have is runner f so runner f is a really odd color i'm uh, to be honest i'm not really liking this color whatsoever um i don't think the gun the beam uh, the beam rifle looks really good in this kind of like I don't know, like a purplish gray. It just, it looks really weird. Uh, for the armor, I actually don't mind it. Even for the hands, I don't really mind it too much. Uh, I think where my problem really lies is just going to be this weapon. So I would say, honestly, um, expect a, a recolor of that. I don't know what color I'm probably going to do this in. Maybe a light gun metal. And then I might paint in some of these little details that you can see right there. So I'll just do some little different painting all around uh, as much as I can. But, I, you know, honestly, I'm going to just show y'all the unfinished, uh, like not unfinished, but the non-painted build. And then we'll kind of have a, a little montage showing you my actual painting process. And next is two runner G's. So this is going to be in that same ugly color. Um, sorry, just, sorry, not sorry. It, it just, it doesn't really look that great in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, this is going to be a lot more for just kind of like uh, inner armor as well as uh, more external armor. So, yeah, I mean, I'll live with it. It doesn't really look too bad. Um, you're gonna have some areas for actual detail painting, as I can see right up in here, but for the most part, yeah, it's it's not really gonna look too bad. And next is runner H1 and H2. So H2 just being a smaller version of H1, but yeah, this is going to be all your yellow, looking really good. You're gonna have your V-fins uh, pretty much right up here, the broken one and the normal. You're going to have some of the vents right here for the legs or I guess thrusters and just some other little bits and pieces all around here. So nonetheless, it's looking pretty good. You got the chest vents right there as well. But yeah, it looks, it, the yellow looks fine. All right, looking at runner eye. So runner eye is just going to have more of that armor bits. Uh, this is going to be more of that external armor. Uh, this is not going to be like that purple tent that we've seen earlier this is a little bit more of a blue kind of a uh, kind of tint to it so definitely going to be a little bit different and i do enjoy that it's going to have multiple different colors uh that are kind of similar to each other in this kit so really appreciative of that uh but you are going to have that face plate right there so if you're just kind of like wondering uh exactly how that looked well there it is and then you're going to have just more of this uh heavy armor stuff and now runner j1 j2 j2 being smaller version of j1 push that over there so looks really good. Um, overall, not really too bad. It's just more of that outer armor, uh, well, heavy condensed armor. So looking really good, very solid. Uh, maybe it, it kind of feels a little bit cheap, but you know, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's all in my head. Uh, but yeah, it's not really too bad. Really, really nice looking, very glossy. So we are gonna have to delve this down, and uh, I'm just really. I'm really want to do a lot of weathering to this, to be honest. And now we have is Runner K. So Runner K is going to be a little bit more of a, um, it's gray, but it kind of has, like, I don't know. It kind of has like a greenish tint. Maybe it's just, maybe it's in my head. Maybe it's because it's close to my, uh, my mat. 
But yeah, this is gonna be a lot for the weaponry. You got, you know, the bazooka, inform not information, but you got the bazooka uh, materials all right there. So then you got the beam rifle stuff right here as well. Um, you know, I'm not really liking this color at all. Uh, so this is probably gonna be changed as well. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at this as, as being something I'm gonna change. Uh, but you got some nice little details right here. Um, overall, not really too bad, but maybe a little bit more basic uh, than what I wanted. And for Runner L, now we're getting into the inner frame of this thickness of armor. Uh, yeah, it's kind of odd looking. Um, you know, it's like a little skeleton, but yeah, looks pretty good. So very, very simple. You know, it's a big runner for something that's not really many pieces. You only got, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So not really too many pieces on this one giant runner, but yeah, nonetheless, pretty nice. And next is gonna be runner M1, M2. So yeah, this is pretty much going to be uh, the last bits of the, you know, outer armor, inner frame. You got parts for the shield, you got parts for the, uh, the back skirts. So it looks pretty good. You know, this should be not too hard to deal with at all. And the final runner is going to be runner N. Now this is pretty cool. It's, um, it's pretty, chrome looking uh, maybe not chrome but it's definitely a bright silver uh, i guess maybe close to chrome but you're gonna have that nice silver uh maybe chrome ish for the thrusters and the way they actually have it on the runner is on the back side so if i can have that zoom in or at least focus um, whenever you cut it you're really not going to see all the excess so that's pretty cool normally they would have it like directly here on the sides of the thrusters which always suck um, because it's kind of hard to sand down curved uh, surfaces like that without you know having it be obvious But yeah, yeah, these are really looking good. You got parts for the Gatling gun and they're gonna be pretty much You know placed on the tree in a way that is not really going to show any signs of uh, nubs so really awesome you get a very small polycap sheet some beam sabers your normal sticker sheet right here and your marking stickers right there and lastly it's going to be the manual so nothing really too different in here uh just kind of going over some stuff some of the stuff that we already seen um in the box on the side of the box at least uh but you do get your color guy you get some illustrations and you gotta get some other nice little tidbits all around here so you can definitely uh, check that out if you want. So I'll just kind of like leave it right there and you can zoom in and all that and go ahead and just take a look at the illustrations. Uh, backside, just a nice cover shot of a uh, painted build. So looking really good. But that's it for me guys. I am ready to get this thing done. So I'm more than likely just going to jump on a live stream and just build it with you guys. You can kind of see the progress with this kit. Um, but yeah, it's looking really good and I can't wait to build it for you. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comment section below. If you say, hey, I would like to see some, uh, maybe some rust or I wanna see some more dirt oriented weathering or hey, do a little bit of uh, battle damage, whatever you might think of, definitely let me know. Give recommendations and then I'll do my best to have a very good montage of me actually painting and detailing this kit to the best of my abilities for you guys to actually learn maybe a thing or two, or maybe I can teach me a thing or two. Uh, but other than that, the, you know, just check out this kit over at newtypehq.com. Uh, you can definitely pre-order it, use that promo code Krosama, so that way you can get your 10% off and save yourself a couple of bucks because that's what's important, is saving those couple of bucks to roll them over. For some of them, 30 minute mission kits. These things are gonna be really awesome. So definitely look forward to seeing these in the near future as well. But let me get to building this and detailing it first. And then I'll share some of the 30 minutes with you. But other than that, that's it for me guys. Definitely appreciate you for watching and I'll see y'all in the review. Bye-bye.